My name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our spring home tour and I am so excited to share with y'all our home for this new season. I'm going to do a quick introduction of myself. Again, I'm Holly and I'm married to my high school sweetheart, which is Drew. And so we are located dead center, Alabama, and we actually live on the family farm. And we're actually right now living in a mobile home and it's a double wide. And we've lived in it now for about, I think, three years maybe. And I'm building some point in our lives, but I just don't know when yet. But right now we're just enjoying this home and we love it and we love this land this piece of property that we're on we actually live right next door to Drew's parents his sister Addison and y'all all know how much I love and adore them my parents and family live about mm, less than 10 minutes away from me so we're all really close and I'm just so blessed to be able to whoa as soon as I start thinking about family members I get so emotional I am just abundantly blessed is what I'm trying to say Anyway, and so uh, I was thinking I was going to put off this home tour until next week because I really want to enjoy this Easter season because Easter is coming up this weekend. This is Thursday and Good Friday is tomorrow. And so during this time where everything has kind of changed for us here in the world, I just really wanted to enjoy this week and weekend with my family. But I decided last minute to do this spring home tour and I, I thought what better way than to go ahead and share with y'all our spring home tour the weekend before Easter so I can share with y'all all the things that I love, all the things that God has blessed me with. And I just really wanted to get this home tour up for y'all this week. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. We've been working so hard outside. I was planning on showing y'all some of the outside for the spring home tour, but it was a little rainy today, so it's a little wet outside, and I just didn't feel like get, going out there and getting all wet and nasty. So I'll be doing more outdoor home tours um, later on throughout the year and then I've actually done a few already of how we've been playing around with our outside and remember this is a double wide home so we're not putting that much work and money into the outside of it but we are sprucing it up a little bit so we can enjoy it while we are living here. I'll put some of the cards up here so you can actually click those links and see what we've been working on for outside. Okay, so that was a little bit about me so I guess we'll go ahead and get this home tour started. Okay, y'all, we're starting in the foyer, and I know if most of you have already been here, then you've already seen our foyer, and you've already seen the theme of the secret garden on the farm this year. So we'll start at the front door, and I got these bells at Kirkland's um, for Christmas, and I had it with a Christmas wreath, but I just love them so much, so I just kept them up here with this little fake wreath that I got from TJ Maxx not too long ago. And then I'm not going to talk much in the foyer because you can look up at the top. There's a link and you can click and see and watch me decorate this foyer. So I won't get into too much details about this because it stayed the same ever since I decorated it. So after this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then go over to that video and you can see how I decorated it and what my thought process was. That was a lot of fun to film for y'all. Okay, I know most of you are going to think I am absolutely crazy and lost my mind, but there was this butterfly that was dead at a garden center. And so, trust me, I would not kill a butterfly. I would never. They're too beautiful. But it was already dead, and so I just brought it home and stuck it in this little cloche. And, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. <laughs> so, I know it's a little crazy that I brought a dead insect in, but it is just too beautiful to have just been thrown away. So, I brought it in here. And then in my last video, I had another plant in here, but it was not doing well, so I had to section it off into three pieces. It was just getting too big for this pot. So I put this little poso in here, and it will grow all viney and spill out. If you are obsessed with plants or becoming obsessed with indoor plants like I have, I'm telling y'all, I'm the crazy plant lady. You're going to see plants all through my house. If you were there for my last spring home tour, you're in for a real treat because there is so many more um, house plants inside now. But if you are wanting to get started, a post though is the easiest ones to take care of I have seen. You barely have to give them any attention and they grow like crazy. And again, I know that y'all probably want to know more information, but if you want to go check out that other video because I don't want to spend too much time in the foyer because I've already shot a video talking all about the foyer. So here we have another house plant. I cannot remember what this one's called. I think it's Dragon's Breath or something like that. Um, it was something dragon, but I just loved it. And then I got this pot from the thrift store. I love going to the thrift store and finding me some pots for a lot cheaper than what you can find at like your local stores. And they're just so much fun to play with and get to get creative on where to plant your plants. You'll see throughout my house, 
I have found little things from the thrift store that I have used to plant my plants in. Okay, from the foyer, oh, I should probably show y'all that we have this beautiful foyer entry wall that is like glass windows that I love. And I'll give you a better shot this way. My mom and I redid that piece of furniture, the dining room table. I got the chandelier at an antique store and I love my crystal chandeliers. I love this saying because y'all know that I love being outside. Drew and I love it so much. We are outside all the time during the spring and summer. And it says to walk in nature is to witness a thousand miracles. And that is so true. Like I feel my happiest whenever I am outside enjoying God's beautiful artwork. Like it just, oh, it makes me so happy. I've always loved being outside. Ever since I was a little kid, I was one of those kids that played outside with my younger cousin, Andrew. Um, and we just played outside all day long. And so, uh, this is what I have over here. And then over here, we have my mannequin, Darla. I have had her in my kitchen or dining room for a little while now. I change out her apron every season. And this one I got from TJ Maxx. And I just loved the butterflies on it. I'm coming a little obsessed with bees and butterflies lately. And so I thought this was just beautiful. And then we have this pretty little corner piece hutch. Now, y'all, I'm not going through telling y'all where I got everything because mostly everything I've had for a while, I've either got it from thrift stores, cannot buy it, um, so I can't give you a link to buy it, or I've got it from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And again, you can't have a link for that either because you have to just show up and see what they have to offer. So. That's why I'm not telling y'all about every little piece, every little detail. And I have done that in a lot of my other home tours. And I will tell y'all if anything's new where I purchased it. But for the most part, like this hutch has stayed the same for so long that you can go watch other home tours and see where I got like exactly every little piece. So I don't want to bore everybody with telling y'all where I got every little thing. And then right here... Um, I got this from the thrift store. So again, this was just something that I found from the thrift store that I knew that I could use to plant some of my plants. I cannot remember what this was called. I think it's called a philodendron, maybe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then I have these cute candlesticks I got from the thrift store and these um, LED lights that I absolutely love from Hobby Lobby. And um, they're on a timer and they come on at night and flicker. They're just beautiful. And so that is the dining room. Oh, and then also this fur rug, I mean, this fur table runner, I got it from Home Goods, and I just loved it with for my winter tours and our winter home decorations, but I just love the fur look. So the fur has definitely stuck around for the spring, and I'm sure that I'll be uh, taking it into summer too. I wanted to show y'all this. I have had this sale sign for a while now, and it is so cute, and it's just been sitting in my little closet that I have in my office. And it hasn't um, been out in a while. It used to be in our, we used to live in a house um, not too far from where we live now. And we had this on our front porch. But I just thought it was cute. And so I put it above our back door. Okay, over here, this is like our catch-all. Like Drew's boots are in there. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit our laundry room. And it's more like a mud room, but we never come in and out of that door. We always come out of this back door. So Drew's boots stay in here. This is like catch-all stuff. And then this is a little picnic basket. Because if you've seen on my videos here lately, we've been having lots of picnics and stuff. And so I just wanted to have a little picnic basket ready to go whenever we were ready for our picnics. And so I got this picnic from Rustic Relics, which is a local place um, where I live. And it's called Rustic Relics. And it's in Clanton, Alabama. This little table right here in here. And then I have this pretty little pitcher. And then I just threw some eucalyptus in here. My plans were to go get wildflowers to pick. To put in there but it's been raining the last couple days and i just didn't want to get out in the rain and then we have this cute little medicine cabinet um and i know a lot of people ask me why do you have a medicine cabinet in your dining room well i don't have hardly any other wall space in the kitchen and so i thought it was cute there and besides it's a mirror where you can check yourself before you leave and head out okay now we're gonna spin to the kitchen so here's the dining room and it goes on over to the kitchen and I love our kitchen. If you notice one thing that's different is the brick backsplash. And y'all, it is not real at all. It is wallpaper that I have taped onto the wall because I did not want to 
completely glued up there in case whoever buys this house next. I did not want them the hassle of having to take down some wallpaper. So I have literally taped this wallpaper up there and it has made this kitchen. So things like this, you can be so creative and on a budget and just transform a room. I just love it. I've gotten so many compliments off of this. I actually have an Amazon shop. So in the description box below, hit the little arrow and then there will be everything that I talk about on the things that I can link. You can click those links and it'll take you to the places where you can purchase it. So this wallpaper is in my Amazon shop and I will link that down below. On the refrigerator, I just have this cute little note that Eli made me. He wrote, I love you. And this is my little nephew and he gave it to me for Valentine's Day, but I just cannot take it off of the refrigerator. He is gonna be, oh no, he is, He's he is five. He just turned five. And then I have this cute little, um, I have been practicing my watercolor. I'm not that great at it. Never been a painter, but I've been practicing. And then this is something I get off of Pinterest every season. I love it. So it's a spring bucket list and I have one printed out for um, Christmas, winter, fall. So this is the spring and it just it gives you little ideas. And this is great for right now while you're trying to think of ideas to do just around the house fly a kite and so I actually bought a kite off of Amazon and it is beautiful it's a butterfly I'll show you that whenever um, I do my office home tour um, which will be next week hopefully but anyway it is beautiful it's a beautiful butterfly kite I've added some in my Amazon shop so if you want to do that um, by all means please go in there and give it a look but this is so fun to have printed off and then over here um, I have just some spring diffuser blends because y'all know I don't use candles anymore. I'll only use my essential oils and they have made all the difference in Drew and I's life. And so I have some of those here so I can just run to it and see which diffuser blend that I would like to use um, to put in my diffusers for the day. And so these are nice to have. Used to, I used to keep my refrigerator completely clean, but now this stuff makes me feel happy and at home. And it's just fun little arts and graphics that I can look at that makes me happy. So then over here on top, we have a ceramic pie dish. Um, you can't really see it right now, but y'all know that I'm obsessed with those. I have like one of each, like every pie that you could ever make. Okay, over here we have another plant. I think this is called a nerve plant and it is so easy. This one has been so easy to take care of just like that potho plant. And this is just a little thing that I got from the thrift store and I actually have thrift hauls all over my YouTube channel um, of where I go and purchase these things, me out and about shopping and how much I pay. And then I just have some cutting boards here and then right here we have my Mac Daddy Young Living diffuser called the Aria. This one is a showstopper, y'all. This runs all day long. It has a remote. I'm telling you, I can turn this on and it will be on for the whole entire day. I don't have to worry about burning candles when I leave the house, blow them out. I don't have to worry about the awful toxins that those candles are putting off. I know that this is safe for Drew and I to use to have going in our home. It actually benefits our body to have these oils in our home. And so we have became obsessed. If you're new to my channel, um, I have all kind of tips and tricks all throughout my YouTube channel. If you want to know more, you can email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com. But we have been using oils for about five years now. And then just recently in this last year, we've decided to become distributors because we were sharing them all the time anyway. And we wanted to be able to get lots of free stuff. And so that we have done. So right now I have this awesome oil blend in here called Herb Garden. And I will show you that graphic. So you can actually go to Pinterest and type in um, like spring diffuser blends and it will pull up all these graphics where you can almost like create your own fragrances like your own candles it is so much fun i just love it so again this one is the aria and it plays this awesome spa music and then you can also plug your phone up to it and listen to music through the speaker so it's just an awesome diffuser all of our supplements down here because we have been taking supplements a lot um, this past year and um, we have felt so much better so this is all the ones that we're taking as of now and then some more oils and then this is actually a little flower frog but a sweet friend of mine miss donna subscriber she sent it to us and we put our little vegetable capsules in here and we put our coconut oil in it and then we add any kind of um oils from young living only because young living is the only ones that are um tested and okayed to be able to ingest and so that's why they have this little vitality line right here the white ones so we actually make up like little um 
vegetable capsules for us to ingest and so they're so cute sitting in here it's a way that we can store them easy and so i just love this so thank you so much for sending me that again and then this little tear tray came from magnolia or from target it is the hearth and hand by magnolia collection and then you'll see i have little bible verses like posted and stuck throughout the house i got that from my friend amber i thought that was a wonderful idea to put them by places that you go every day and i always fill it in my diffuser every day so I can look right here. My weapons are praises and thanksgiving. This is how I fight my battle. And so I just love having little songs that I love, little scriptures, little quotes stuck throughout my home. And then right here in the kitchen window is full of some plants. And then we have these little string lights because we have string lights outside. I have these string lights linked to my Amazon shop. And I'm telling y'all, I love me some string lights. Do y'all tell me, let y'all let me know if y'all are obsessed with string lights like I am. They just set the mood, I'm telling you. And so I decided to bring some indoors this season. And then I had this cute little farmhouse sign. This was a piece of wood that was out at the farm that was in the burn pile and I brought it home and I painted farmhouse on it and stuck it up there. I actually drew, stuck it up there. And then uh, right here, like I said, just different plants. Um, these roses, everybody always asks me about these. They are called Farmer's Dream Roses. They're an antique rose, and most of y'all have already heard about Petals from the Past. It's an, um, it's a plant nursery that I work at, and I just love it so much. It's really close to where I live, and it's like a little piece of paradise for me, and we are known for our antique roses. And so, they do ship. Petals from the Past does ship, and so I'll go around and show you different things that I've gotten from there, and you can go and call or email them, whatever you want to do, and they can actually ship things to you. But these are my Farmer's Dream Roses. So I have one on this side and one on this side. I've had a lot of people ask me how many I had to buy for it to do this. And it's just one each. One on this side, the pergola, one on this side. And I've only had this for less than a year. And look at how it grew up like this in less than a year. That's the only gap that needs to be filled in. And that will fill in like before this, before too long for sure. And I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but there is some blooms ready to bloom on this um farmer's dream rose and it is going to be absolutely breathtaking so y'all go follow me on instagram and whenever this thing blooms out i will be showing this off like crazy it is beautiful and it is so fragrant it smells so good you can see our little garden out in the back anyway so also i have a video of us planting our vegetable garden we've been growing our own groceries lately so you can youtube channel to find that video too and then cute little chicken Again, a little Farmer's Dream Rose I cut off and put in here. I'm telling y'all, this smells so good. And then this little boot I got from Petals from the Past, and I just thought it was adorable. And you can see my hammock out there. That's on my Amazon shop, too. That has been so handy right now. And then this little honeycomb um, water decanister, I got it from Rustic Relics, and I thought it was so cute. I love this. The cow, y'all asked me about a lot. I got that from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And then we have our Thieves hand soap and dish soap in here. This is all plant-based, all natural. We only use non-toxic cleaners now, all plant-based. This is all by Young Living. If you have more questions, check out my YouTube videos or message me. Um, email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com again. And I will link all that below. But love these. They smell so good. And don't they display well? Now, these bottles come from my Amazon shop. But I'll tell you all about that if you have any more questions. And then over here... We have, I like, I love paper plates. They're so much fun. So I got these at TJ Maxx a while ago. Some bees. I got this cute little rabbit. Some carrot plates. Usually I have this thing full, but I haven't been able to get out and about much anymore. So that's all I have right now. And I just think they're so much fun to display and use. They're easy to decorate with and very practical. And then over here is my little coffee bar. I wanted to show y'all this. So I make chai tea a lot. I love chai tea. And this is something I got from Petals from the Past. They have different ones. I have one for Christmas. But this one is peaches. And we are from the Peach County. And Chilton County Peaches. And so I found this one. And it had the green color. And I love green. You'll see that's like my theme throughout my home this year. But this is actually filled with spices. So whenever I get through making my tea and it's hot, I can sit it back on this little guy. And it will smell up the house. And so I just thought that was so precious. And then we have my little coffee bar. I have some honey. 
Um, I use only Tracy's Honey from Just Dig It Farms. Let me go ahead and tell you about her. So here she is. You have got to go follow her. She's the Gardener Queen. I love, 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 love watching her stuff. And she also has honeybees. She talks all, she, her home is beautiful. I actually have a home tour of her house and her farm. I'm telling you, you will get so much inspiration from her home. She has a cute little garden shed. It's just precious. So this is her channel. Just Dig It Farms. Again, follow her on YouTube. And she um, actually, I believe, will ship out honey to you. So if you go follow her and message her, she can ship you some out. But um, there she is. So this is the only honey that we use. So I have the honey. I have some cute little straws. And then I have like tea in here, some sugar. Anyway, the basics is so cute. And then this is a pergulator. Everybody always asks me where I got this. I got this from an antique store for like $5 years ago. You can look up Pyrex glass percolator. And there might be one on eBay. I'm not sure. Or just check your local antique or thrift stores. And then this is also a coffee pergulator. And this is how we make our tea and coffee. Now, we don't have a Keurig anymore. I just thought this kind of took me back to the old days. And I love that feel. So, and this is so pretty. I just love how this looks. And over this way, we have cute little Dolly hanging up. I got her from um, Christmas Village. And uh, there is a YouTube video on that also. But I don't know the name of the company where that came from. But she is so cute up there. I've been looking for something like her to go up on my range hood for a while now. And she was perfect. And then over here, um, I have this display just because I love it. This is from the Hearth and Hand Collection at Target. Ooh, that's dirty. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so I have this just sitting here because it's so nice to cook with. We had spaghetti last night, and it's just so nice. I love it. And then down here, I always get cute little hand towels from Pales from the Past. They have the cutest hand towels, so many different varieties and colors and styles. And then this one came from the Target Dollar Spot, and I just love them. And then over here, again, this little hand towel came from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And then we have this little setup. We have some Himalayan salt, a Curier and Ives little um, scene. I love Curier and Ives. And this is the spring um, graphic. And then y'all can see what everything else is. This is all my herbs, um, Copaiba, cilantro, sage all my herbs that young living has to offer and i have them in this cute little skillet um because you can cook with these and then all of my other spices are in here all of my other herbs and then another cute little honey jar that i found i actually bought this just to have this little honey spoon but the jar was so cute and it looked homemade so i had to have another one sitting now Okay, next is our kitchen island, and I just love it. I love the sink in the middle of it. And then, uh, this is what I have going on here. Love that little tray with the legs. And then also, I was going to show you all my rug that I love. I got that from Home Goods, and I just love that rug. Okay, so now we're going to spin on into the living room. Well, actually, no. We're going to spin right here because I forgot about this piece. So, this is a little bar cart. And this is a cute little, um, I did a haul on this. This is a cute little wine rack. has the little birds on it. And so, I put all of our Nietzsche red. We take this every day between two to four ounces. This is the highest antioxidant drink on the market. And so, we love drinking this. And it tastes so good. We do all kinds of different recipes with it. Again, for more of those tips and tricks, follow me on Instagram. Because we're all the time making slushies. Or really doing up that drink a lot. We love it. And then, we have down here a cute little dough bowl with some eucalyptus. And then, some cute glasses that I thrifted. And then up here, I thrifted this little piece. And then I have another little plant that I got from Petals from the Past up here. And I just love how that looks. So pretty. So now we'll go into the living room. Let's see. Let's back up and show you like what the glass looks like. So the glass goes all the way down the hall. And you're looking into the living room. And it is just breathtaking to me. I'm telling you, I love that. That was like one of the things that I just loved about this house. Okay, the back of the couch. That lamp came from Target. This lamp came from the thrift store. And then I had to buy the shade from Target. I have a cute little record player that I love playing. These from the thrift store, all of these cute little records. And they were like 99 cents a piece. 
I love playing my records. This one plays Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it's not like singing. It's just music, and so it just sounds just so happy in the mornings. I love coming in here and turning my record player on, and it just kind of takes me back to the good old days that everybody always talks about, and so I just thought it was beautiful over here. This used to be in my foyer, but I changed it up a little bit, and then we have a little plant sitting right here. This is called a maiden hair fern. And it is just now starting out again because this is the one that I had to separate three different times. And then over here we have another diffuser. This one is called the Desert Mist Diffuser. Um, those are different color cycles and it runs all day long again. And then Young Living's diffusers, they act humidifiers too, so it's a two-in-one deal. And this diffuser, I have a little blend going that I love. I found these little graphics off of Pinterest and they're so cute, so I'll show you what that looks like. And again, we just don't burn candles anymore. We don't have wall plug ins. We have actually done a lot of research. You can just go to Google and type in, are candles bad for you? Are wall plug ins bad for you? Just scare you on the things that it can do to your body. It just, it really hurts your immune system. And it really, a lot of those things causes cancers and autoimmune diseases. And so, we have started using um, all natural products. And Drew and I have not felt better in our lives and we have this past year since we really started ditching and switching all of that stuff into more natural things. And I have lots of y'all that have um, been subscribers of mine from the getting that y'all have signed up and y'all have seen a major life difference. Lots of family and friends, huge life difference. And y'all, I am not just saying that. I would not be doing this and I would not be into all of this if it really did not make such a huge dramatic difference in all of our lives. And so if I can help you out in any way possible, please send me a message um, or email me. Again, my email is linked down below. I want to do anything that I can to help take care of you and your family, to help teach all things that I have learned. And you will be there every step of the way with us. We will not leave y'all hanging. We have an awesome Facebook uh, page where any of our Oli families can join into, get lots of tips and tricks, ask questions, and you will just be loved on so much. And um, we will exchange phone numbers. You can text me, call me anytime that you want. We can figure this out together. I can help y'all any way that I can. I'm just switching over from harmful chemicals into natural products. And um, I've told y'all about this app called Think Dirty. And you can actually scan your products. And Mrs. Myers rates an 8 out of a 10. A 10 is the most toxic. So you've got to be careful with the products that you're buying thinking that they're all natural. I highly recommend that y'all download that Think Dirty app. I have shared it with y'all before. I'm going to show y'all my home tour and how I like to keep a house at home. I want to show y'all the importance to me of bringing plants inside. I am all about bringing nature in, y'all already know that, but bringing plants inside, it helps to eliminate the toxins in your air. It helps to purify your air. Um, it just makes you happier being able to take care and tend to things that were outdoors. Studies have proven that plants indoors make people happier. And so I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you that everybody that I have talked to that bought one plant because I encourage them, they have started collecting plants like crazy. It is an addiction and you will love it. So let me know in the comments below if you're a crazy plant lady and how many plants that you have in your house. I really wanna encourage y'all this season to let's get our houses more of a safer environment. Let's ditch and switch all of the nasty products that we've got in our home. Let's make our families feel better. Let's love on them and bringing in more natural products, indoor plants. Let's um, buy the groceries that are non-GMO and organic. Let's do things to try to help build our immune systems and make us feel better. So I highly encourage y'all to do that. And again, if y'all need help in any way, y'all please message me. I will love to help y'all. And please follow me on my Instagram page because I have so many tips and tricks that I share with y'all daily. I do like a day in the life, like all the time on my Instagram page. You can watch my stories every day and just to see what I am up to for the day. And see how I'm using my products, see what I'm cleaning, see what I'm redoing. So I think that y'all will really enjoy following me over on my Instagram page. I care less about all of this stuff. Everybody used to use Lysol. Everybody used to clean with bleach. And that's how I felt um, a few years ago and now my eyes have been open and all I want to do is share with y'all this new love that I have found and I'm not saying that anybody out there will ever be toxic free and you'll still eat junk food. I still love my little ice creams. I still love some cobblers. 
still love some chocolate cake, but I just try to live a lifestyle that's a little bit more healthier than what I had been in the past. And it is a lot easier than a lot of you think that it is. And I'm telling you, it makes you feel so much better. And the little changes that you can that makes the most sense for you and your family will make a huge difference. Um, this piece of driftwood we got, we go to Lake Martin all the time. And it's a beautiful lake and we go boat riding with our friends, um, some of our best friends. And uh, we found this piece of driftwood and we got it home. Drew drilled me some holes in it and then I stored my oils on here. So y'all, you can get out in nature and find some decorations to bring into your home and it's free and it means so much because like Lake Martin's like one of my favorite places to go. So when I look at this, I think of being on the lake with our friends and just having a great time with them. So I love that. And then down here, we just have a bunch of little knickknacks stored. I want to show you all this because this is one of my new favorites that I found from the thrift store. So this is actually just like a little tin. I don't really know like what it used to be. But oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this is with nest on it. I just thought it was so pretty. So I just had that sitting there displayed to myself I was not going to talk much in this video and try to make it less than 30 minutes for y'all but I just can't just let that happen I talk so much on here okay so this is a piece I got from my mom and dad's garage that used to hold all my dad's tools in it or a lot of his tools and I brought it home and made it as a little bookshelf and then a little basket with some quilts in it and this I got from Hobby Lobby I believe they still have this and then this just has all of my little books, magazines, Bibles. And then this, I didn't know a good place to display it, but this, my mother-in-law got me it for Christmas. We Are the Gardeners by Joanna Gaines and Kids. And I love that little book so much. It's so sweet. So I wanted it to display. Okay, so we got to back up. I don't know what I was thinking. I know that a bunch of you are like, what has this girl done? Why has she, why does she have string lights strung in her living room? Okay, so I did this for my winter home tour and just... I just loved the way that they looked and they felt at night. Um, like I said, I just brought outside in, y'all, and I just could not take them down. My mom comes over here and looks at them, and she's like, when are you going to take those down? That is so tacky. But it makes me happy, and Drew loves it. So we laugh at mom. Of course, she doesn't care what I do to my home, but she just cannot believe that I hung up these string lights in here. But, y'all, whenever it is um, dark outside and we have the TV going, the diffusers going, my lamp's on, these string lights on, we can watch a movie or just hang out, and it just sets the mood. Like, I love it. You saw the string lights in my foyer. You saw them here over my... Um, kitchen window and I don't know when these will come down I honestly thought that after Valentine's Day I was going to take them down but I just came over here I'm sorry I just had to tell y'all about that okay let's turn over here real quick so I got this cute little phone from the thrift store and my mama Ferris she has one of these and we always played with it and we loved it so it has like a little compartment right here and I just loved this little phone, and it reminded me of her and us playing with it, always wanting to call somebody on it. So I hung this up on this little nook, and then I just have a little um, stool with blankets and I know here. I tell some of y'all this a lot, but I'm just so proud of this family. So my dad is one of um, seven brothers and sisters, and my mama and papa raised an incredible family, and they're is so many of us now. Like whenever we get together, there's like around 80 of us. There's so many grandkids and great grandkids. And it's just one big happy family. And I just love it. And like my Easter video from last year, my Christmas video, and you can kind of see everybody and I'll let y'all meet a few people. But um, that family just means so much to me. And it's just a huge family. And I love being part of a huge family. Okay, let's go back over here into the living room. So, we had the furniture. All my furniture came from Ashley's furniture. And then, let's see. This little piece came from the thrift store. I redid it down here. Um, I just have some landscaping books. And then Hiking Alabama because we love going hiking, going to waterfalls. We were planning on doing that a lot this year. Oh, there's some water, some sweat from a cup right there. Anyway, we were planning on going hiking a lot this year, but... I don't really know if we're allowed to get out to even do that right now. And then this lamp actually came from a thrift store. And oh my gosh, it was beautiful. I did have to buy the shade, but I got this lamp for $10. And it's so pretty. And then this is an African violet. And um, it has done really well. I've had it for over a year now. And it just blooms white, blooms continuously. You can buy all different colors in them. But I got white because it's just more of a neutral color for our home. 
I love our rug. I've had it for a while now. I got it from Ross. And then this cute little blanket. And then y'all know that I have been obsessed with these pillows. I got these for Christmas and I just could not do away with them. I had some other ideas for the couch, but I just loved this green velvet and fur so much. So it stayed for the spring home tour. And they're not in like perfectly placed right now either. So I'm sorry about that y'all, but there you go. And I got those from Home Goods. And then right here, we have a little tray, this cute little pot that I got from a thrift store, and then this is a succulent little spray bottle, and then my Gary Young book. If you're into Young Living or essential oils at all, you need to buy this book. It is such a great book telling about Gary's lifestyle, and oh my goodness, I'm telling you, like it made me fall in love with the company all over again. It is such a really, really good read. Okay, and then we just have some fur blankets draped over here. And then this is Drew's little corner. And so he has some bigger prizes that he's been wanting to get hung up on the wall, but just not got that done yet. And so this is what we have over here so far, and he's wanting to hang more. And I'm like, where are we going to hang them? So in our new house, we'll definitely have to find like a designated wall for all of that. And so uh, definitely, Drew is definitely a big hunter, and we... um eat the meat all the time like that's basically all we have we hardly ever have to go to the grocery store for meat so it's so nice getting to be able to eat those things that is a little bit more natural we don't have to worry about them being injected with the hormones or anything so i'm so proud of him for being the hunter that he is and then this my mom and dad got for us um they found it at the thrift store for seven dollars and i don't know the name of it y'all ask me all the time there's not a name i don't know who it's by but my husband is a lineman and Again, we have cows, and so this picture was just perfect. It's showing the lineman climbing. He can climb. Oh, my gosh, y'all. To see the poles that he has climbed before freaks me out. He is not scared of anything. We're just like, seriously, he, he is not. I don't think he has a fear. And then the cute little white church, the little barn in the background. I just loved this picture so much. So I put it over here by Drew's Corner. And then this is actually my first deer that I got um, with Drew. So we hung that up there. And then this is another potho. Love these plants. I got this little table from Kirkland's. And then this is just a little um, toolbox that I just filled up with different things. I was things. pretty happy with this wall. We don't know too many people that their wives let the husbands put their trophies um, in the living room. So whenever I thought about having this little nook for him, I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to get the best wife award. So I love how that little corner came together. I think it's so pretty. And then over here on the fireplace... Um, it's kind of messy right now because we haven't used it, but I just have this little thing for my wood, um, papers and cardboards, um, to burn. Then that used to be filled with pine cones. And then up here, I've had this stuff up here ever since we moved in the house, except for the centerpiece. So this, um, is dried eucalyptus, and then I just have some fairy lights draped in here. And this is all actually hiding the cords for our TV. So this was perfect. Some little, cute little antlers that are glittered up. And then this sign came from a local friend of mine. Her name is Katie Jackson, Varied Grace Designs. And I will link um, her Facebook page down below. She also has an Instagram page. So I'll link that all below. But I asked her to make me the sign. I absolutely love this song so much. And it just is one of those songs that just makes me happy, always has. And so I messaged her and said, hey, can you make me this sign? I need these lyrics and I need it to fit on this small little sign. And she made it happen for me. She um, ships out. She can make almost anything. If you want to check her out, if you have an idea in mind, you can message her and she can help you create it. And then she can ship it to you. And she made me one more thing, but it's in the bedroom, so I'll show you that later. And then over here is a little bench that I got and painted it, put some castor wheels on it, and then some just pillows and a cute blanket. This blanket is like a fawn print, and my cousin Kayla gave me this for a gift because she knows that I love this print. And so it tied in well with Drew's Corner. And then over here, a little mirror that I got from Kirkland's. And then this is a dried eucalyptus wreath because I love having things that are like dried and preserved. Love having the real stuff. And so this was beautiful. It came from Hobby Lobby for $25.
Okay, so we're going to go to the guest part of the house before we go to the master. So this is our guest bathroom. And my mom actually made me this shower curtain. And no, she does not sell them. She has too much going on <laughs> to be doing that. But she made this one for me. And this is just out of paint, uh, like drop cloth, I think is what it's called. Painter's drop cloth. We got it from Walmart. And it is just gorgeous. I love it. And then my cute little truck. Y'all always ask me about it. I got it from JCPenney's a while ago. And I don't know if they have it anymore, but I love that white truck. And then we have some lavender hand soap by Young Living. And this stuff smells incredible. I love it. And then we have over here this little piece. I've had her for forever. And then I just put um, this wreath around it to add in some greenery. And then I have some oils in here on this cute little, I don't really know what kind of house this is. I just found it at a thrift store one day. I thought it was so cute what to put in it or where to put it. So I ended up putting it in our guest bathroom and then I put some oils on it. And we have some dried eucalyptus hanging up in the shower. Here's this cute little shelf with just little things displayed. More eucalyptus. And then this is, <laughs> I asked my friend Miranda, I said, is this crazy of me to put this citrus slices in here in this bathroom? But it's supposed to be like potpourri, so. I didn't have anywhere else to put it and I thought it was beautiful. So I didn't want to just put it up for the season. And then um, this is just a little cabinet that Drew built me out of a window, old window. And then we just have some bath supplies in here. Oh, also coming down the hallway, I found this cute little painting at Peach Park. If you're ever heading south and coming through Alabama, through Peach County, stop at Peach Park in Clanton. If you're ever heading to Gulf Shores, Alabama, Panama City, uh, Florida, a lot of people stop at Peach Park and get some ice cream. They have, it's like an awesome little farmer's market. We love it. An awesome playground, a little boutique. And so I got this and it says to everything there is a season. And I just thought it was gorgeous. So I had this hanging in the hallway. Okay, this door goes to the office. I'm going to show you the office, this home tour. But I'm waiting on a shelf to get in and it has not came in yet. So be checking out pretty soon. Hopefully before the end of next week, there'll be a video up on my office tour. And I love how I redid it. It is like my creative space. Uh, I have a table in there now where I I can paint and craft. I just love it and I cannot wait to share it with y'all. So this is our guest bedroom and it is a little bit more shabby chic and even though shabby chic is not totally my style, um, this is all the stuff that I've had for a little while and I threw it together and I thought it turned out cute. I actually just did a video on it, redoing it, sprucing it up a little bit and I love how it turned out. So this little headboard used to be mine whenever I was little and we spray painted it gold. This came from the thrift store, this quilt, and I just love the colors, the little bird cages on it. And then this is one of my favorite things that I did. Just hung some hats on this old mirror. And I have a fiddle fig plant now, or tree. I've been dying to have one of those, and I have it planted in a crock. And then I just love this plant. And then over here, an old phone, little knickknacks. And then this chair, I actually redid it. It was so ugly. I did a video on that too. But um, this chair was hideous and I bought it from the thrift store and I redid it. I got the fawn print from Hobby Lobby. And then over here, just go through a little bit. Still haven't done anything with that lampshade yet. Our wedding pictures. There's Drew. Baby Drew. <laughs> and then... Oh, here, let me show you. This is my sister-in-law, Addison. And this was almost eight years ago. So, this is an older picture. My sister-in-law, Addison. And my sister, Bridget. And Bridget's husband, Joseph. And then, I have another plant. I got Walmart. I loved it. And then, my grandma gave me this hat. And I thought it was so cute. And then, a little crock right here. Being our master bedroom. And then, these... Or I don't really know what they are. I think they used to hold up an old mirror, but I just hung them up there to add some color and texture to the wall. Some brown to darken it up a little bit. I thought they were cute. This I actually got, if y'all know, Carly Bowman. If y'all follow her on Instagram, she has an incredible Instagram feed and blog. And she um, had this in her booth, which is in Opelika, Alabama. And I loved that picture. I had it in our bedroom for Valentine's Day. And then this is a coleus plant right here that I have planted in this cute little teapot. So that is this bedroom. To me, it's a little country shabby chic. 
Okay, now we're gonna walk into the laundry so room. So this is the laundry room. Um, this was like a little nook and directly built. This is where my desk used to be. And so he built this for me. This is, that keeps our um, like broom and mops and stuff in there. And then I just have, I love this song. I actually just shared this on my YouTube page. It's called Springtime by Chris Somebody. I can't remember who it is. But I love the song, and I shared it on my YouTube channel so y'all can listen to it. And so I just drew a little um, chalk art up there. And then this is my little um, basket. Miss Althea got me this. This is some bird seed. And then my gardening gloves. Some seeds, some flower seeds I got from Magnolia. I cannot wait to plant these. Some zinnia seed seeds that I'm going to plant. I got these from Petals from the Past. I'm going to plant these in my um, raised beds outside after Easter. And then my friend Amber got me these. They're little cute little wooden stakes that you put in for your sage mint lavender. And I have all that outside. I just haven't put them in there yet. And then this is how I display our dog food and cat food. And then lots of different invitations and thank you notes. This is just a filing cabinet that I got from A Max. And it has like our different um, fertilizers and organic things for outside for our plants. And then it all just ties in together. And then over here, Drew made me this shiplap wall. So it used to be like an ugly little cutout and behind it's a hot water, water heater. Um, he actually made it where you can unscrew the wall and it like comes off, it pops off and you can get to the hot water heater. He is a genius, I'm telling you. And then I have um, my grandma and her husband, Jerry, put that puzzle to put that puzzle together for us and my daddy framed it for us. So I just had that in here with some more seeds. And then I have a collection of different jars up here. And over here, I got this cute little ironing board from Russet Relics and it's hiding this, um, what's it called? Electrical outlet box or whatever. And I just hung it up there. And then I have our oils and a stain stick that I made. And then over here, we have a cute little lamp. And then I have, I got all of these cute little labels from Bergamot and Lime. She makes these. And you can actually, I believe there's a discount code. And so I'll link all that below. But if you're interested in all of this, I can definitely help you out and get y'all to the right people. But I make our own um, laundry soap. This is a laundry booster. This is the laundry soap. This is all by the Thieves line by Young Living. This is just um, baking soda, Epsom salt, and um, some essential oils in here. So this is just so cute. I love, this came from um, the Magnolia section. This came from the Hearth and Hand section, the Magnolia line at Target. This came from my Amazon shop. And again, the labels, all these labels that you're seeing came from Bergamot and Lime. There's are my dryer balls because I don't use dryer sheets anymore. Um, those are known to cause cancer. And so we use dryer balls now and I drop my essential oils on them and toss them in the dryer. These are really nice. And then over here, I got these little prints. I just printed them off the internet and my daddy made these frames for them. And then I just have little knickknacks up there. So this is our laundry room and mud room and little garden room. And this is also Maddie and Jeb's room. So it's been raining, like I said, so they were wet. So instead of getting mommy's floor all nasty, they were drying off in here. But if it dries up outside, we're gonna go outside and play in a little bit, aren't we? So that's Maddie and Jeb and their sweet little babies. Their husband and wife, they've had two litters of puppies and they're so sweet. Okay, now we're gonna walk on through and go into the master bedroom. So I have changed up some things in here. Since you last saw it, I brought this piece that has all of our like blankets and extra sheets right here. Um, I love little stools like this. And then this little joy thing, I got it from whenever we went to Waco, Texas. So it's be like a Christmas ornament, but um, joy is kind of my word of the year. So Hung that there. And then this I got from Kentucky whenever we went to visit Drew's family in Kentucky. Have a reunion every year in the summer. And so there was an antique store we went to and I got that cute little um, lamp. And then my radio that I love listening to. This is, you can find these online. Uh, Norman Rockwell. And I think you can find them like on eBay and stuff. No, I made that little wreath a few years ago. So, lots of green going right here. And then this is our bedroom. I love the ceilings. I don't know if you notice the ceilings in our kitchen either, but I love it. It's in our uh, foyer too. 
So here's our bedroom. My bedspread came from Walmart and I cannot ever find it online. Y'all are seeing cords right now where Drew plugs up his phone. Anyway, so that came from Walmart. And then I wanna to talk to y'all about these pillows. So the two green ones came from the thrift store and I find pillows and blankets at the thrift store all the time and I come home and wash them real good and they are good to go, y'all. I got these pillows for like $3 each and they are gorgeous. These other floral pillows, I love them so much. I actually had somebody send those over to me and I will link her down below. She has these in stock. She has lots of really cute home decor. She actually sent me those two pillows and this beautiful blanket and I love it. So the name of her little shop is Shop Legacy Decor, and you can go, and there's also um, a promo code that you can use. I'll link that down below. And so she has some really pretty things. And this is an old twin headboard and footboard that my husband put together, made a bench, and that opens up, and there's storage in there. And then he also made this headboard, and we found the lights, um, I can't even remember what that place really was, but we found those lights and I kind of just dressed them up and he hung those on the headboard. I just love how it looks. And then this is the other sign. So Drew actually sang in our wedding and the song that he sang was by Sister Hazel and it was called This Kind of Love. So I have words on here, this kind of love is what I dreamed about. And... Uh, um, it just means so much to me. Not perfect, but I couldn't find anybody more perfect for me. And, of course, we have our little arguments and our ups and downs. But, man, these last few years have been great. And I could not have found a better soulmate. And so we get along so well. And our families get along so well. I'm like best friends with my in-laws. How does that even happen? And so uh, this sign was just perfect. And I was so excited to surprise him with it. And, um, again, this is by Katie Jackson at Varied Grace Designs, and she made this for me. I told her I wanted to sign over my bed, and she helped me with the dimensions, helped me with the font, and so I just love it. And then on each side of the nightstand, I found these nightstands, they're like kid dressers or something, but I needed some taller ones for our bed, and I got those from the thrift store and redid them, and then we'll go over to each side of the nightstand. And you're going to see our cords for charging our phones. But these are little lantern diffusers from Young Living. It also has humidifier. So I have me a white one on my side and Drew a black one on his side. These are my oils that I use at night. And then this actually is a little jewelry box that Drew gave me for wedding day. And it has our name, uh, Holly and Drew, and it tells the wedding date on it. So I love this. And then I have a little decanister so I can refill my diffusers easy. I got these from Hobby Lobby. And then these came from like Kirkland's, I believe. And they're really pretty. I loved the way that they looked. And then these arches came from Kirkland's a few years ago. This is something I got from an antique store. And I made it into one of my oil cabinets. So I have lots of oils in there. We'll come back over to this side. So my mom made these curtains for me. Same way she did my... um shower curtain. I brought this trunk. This used to be in my closet, but I brought it in here. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. I would like to store something in it, but I don't have anything in there yet. But I love how it has this uh, green. I don't know really what it is. It's like, there's how old it is. It has turned green and it's just so pretty. And then over here, I have this awesome rug I got at Ross. A peace lily plant. I got this little column at the thrift store. And then I got this big mirror at Hobby Lobby and I just love how it ties into our room and then I have some fairy lights draped around it and then over here my mom redid this piece for me um a lamp I got this from TJ Maxx a long time ago and then I just filled it with LED candles some moss some fairy lights and some deer antlers this lamp I got from the thrift store and then I got the lampshade at Ross and then this I got from the online yard sale. You're seeing some cords. This blue chair, I love it. And I love this uh, throw. This came from Dollar General. My cousin Kayla found it for me. And then also above it, I added, Drew built me this. And I had this preserved um, wreath. And then I added this deer head that I've had for a while. That used to be in our old house. And I used to have my jewelry hanging from it. And I just haven't let it go. I haven't sold it. I just kept it because I loved it. And so I decided to put it in here in our bed. So then over here, this fireplace. This puts out some heat in the winter. We love it. Drew's, one of Drew's co-workers was selling this. And so it was brown. And I brought it home, painted it, roughed it up. And it works perfectly. And I love it in our bedroom. And then I have this lamp that Drew's nanny gave us that lives right up the road from us. They're the original owners of the farm. And 
and she still owns it, but Drew tends to the, Drew and his dad tends to the cattle and stuff because, uh, Pawpaw passed away a few years ago, but she gave me this old chandelier, and I loved it so much, and then I found these flickering lights at Walmart, and I just think it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of, like, Great Gatsby, and y'all, I love that movie. I am totally a mixture of, like, some glam and some farmhouse, so I'm definitely a farmhouse glam kind of girl. And I got a cute clock here. And then this is a little oil, oil holder. I put these oils on me every day. This is like my perfume for the day and my feel good for the day. And it says, if creation sings your praises, so will I. I absolutely love that song. And a lady um, on my Instagram page reached out to me and wanted to send me an, a block. And it's so pretty. You can design your own. And her name is Cra Crazy for Oils. And I'll link her down below. But she made me this. And it's just perfect. Um, I love having my oils displayed. Because that lets me know to use them every day. They're not stuck up and hidden somewhere. And I do not mind them displayed all throughout my home. Because I think they are beautiful. And I use them constantly. And then this is a sliding barn door. And then over here on Drew's side of the nightstand. We have him a little wood um block that he has his oils on that he uses every night and then we have his lantern the, his little um the canister for his water same thing and then we'll go into the master bathroom so we have my robes a plant in the morning when i rise give me jesus and then a crystal chandelier hanging over our bathtub and i love it so much look at that view i love this and then over here, on this side of the wall, I still have nails hanging up because I had garland hanging up here for Christmas. I got these dried preserved um, hydrangeas um, at a little plant nursery. And then I have a diffuser in here. And usually at night, I always have eucalyptus and lemon going in here. Um, my friend Miranda just told me about that. And it smells so good in like a spa in here at night. I just love the way that that smells. So the other night I had that going and then I was taking a hot bath um, with, this is just plain Epsom salt. And then I put oils in here. I make up my own Epsom salt. And then this is just filled with um, bottles like this that had just a little bit of oils left. And so the Epsom salt really soaks up all the rest of the oil. So that was a really nice relaxing bath. And then that's just baking soda. I just have these cute little jars everywhere. They made me that cute little um, bathtub tray. And I have another potho in my window. And my mama made me these curtains. A cute little stool with some washcloths. And then up here, this has all stayed the same for a little while now. But I just have um, some of our hand soap. Another display of oils because I use these every night um, and every day. I always have to have um, a lot of this. Um, so I have it out easy for display. And I got this cute little tray from Home Goods. And then everybody always asks about this. You cannot find these anywhere. These came for cleanse and I love them. I know they're awesome. Y'all always want me to help y'all find them. I cannot find them anywhere. And then I have our lamp standing up on our little Google. Um, I can't remember what that thing's called. Addison got us that for Christmas, but it, it's nice. I love just being able to talk to it and it plays music for us. And then my um, past coworkers got me this sign from Magnolia. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. So I have this sitting in here in our bathroom. Another little um, Bible verse. And then this is Drew's side of the sink. And he has this cute little oil holder with his oils that he likes to use every day and then his soap. And then we have our big bathtub that everybody's obsessed with. I have our robes, towels hanging from there, a little shower curtain that I got from uh, Target, some eucalyptus hanging in here. I have all of our soaps from Young Living that we like to use and yes y'all know that I love green so I bought all the green label soaps and thank goodness they all smell really I good. Have, um, a little teak wood bench that I got from TJ Maxx with that is filled with like more soaps and erasers and stuff and then another little potho plant in here and then I have some eucalyptus oil sitting in here in this little dish um because we love to drop the eucalyptus into the shower and with the steam going it really is an invigorating smell and it smells really good so I keep those there when you're in the shower you have the awesome view outside I forgot to show y'all this. So this is 
something that Drew made me and you open it up and it has all of our dirty clothes in it so we can actually sit on there um, while the other one's getting ready and talk to each other. We do that a lot. Or um, again, it has all of our dirty clothes in there and then that goes into the toilet room, which we won't go in there. There's nothing exciting in there. Okay, y'all, I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing our home for this new spring season. Springtime, summertime is one of my favorite seasons just because of all the things that are in bloom. I am loving the color green, if you cannot tell. Anyway, I hope that y'all have such an incredibly blessed Easter weekend. I know things are not going to be the same how they used to be. I know that we're all kind of stuck indoors and can't really be with a lot of friends and family at this time. And though being with your friends and family and hunting eggs and eating lunches with everybody, that is all so fun and great. But that is not what this weekend is all about. And just remember that. You can still find joy in this weekend. I am so excited about this weekend and the plans that we have. And it's just going to be a great weekend. And if you're new to our channel thank you so much for coming over please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you enjoy these kind of videos i am so present every day on instagram um and you can follow me over at facebook so definitely if you want to see more of what we're up to what we're doing some more oily tricks some more decorating tricks some more gardening tricks please follow us over on my instagram page at simply lake and lace and don't forget if you have any questions about anything during this video you can comment down below or you can email me at simply lake and lace at yahoo.com and i will do my best to get back to you as soon as i can and then last i just wanted to say that from the bottom of my heart i thank y'all so much for coming over to my channel thank y'all so much for loving on me like you do. I love y'all so much. I hope that y'all have a wonderful Easter weekend. We're praying for y'all. We're praying for this country. We're praying for all the sicknesses out there. And just know that we are praying that y'all have a wonderful Easter weekend and that God blesses y'all abundantly. We love y'all and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.